Kamala Harris and the border crisis is the talk of the town today. We look into how Bill Clinton is discussing how to empower women after COVID, how Kamala Harris is going to be leading the border crisis, and how the executive order to stop the construction of the Trump wall um, earlier this year may have potentially been illegal. These stories and more in your March 25th not so news update. Please like and subscribe if you're looking for daily news content and let's dive on in. Starting us off from the Irish Examiner, Bill Clinton and Kamala Harris to discuss the impact of the pandemic on women. The 42nd president of the United States has very much remained on the public stage since leaving office in 2001, whether that stage is his wife's or, chari- wife's or that of his charity, the Clinton Foundation, which is hosting a, a one-on-one between the former president and the current U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris this week. The conversation is taking place as part of the 13th Clinton Global Initiative University Meeting, which is an annual event that gathers experts together to help young, wi- young people work on social impact projects. The virtual conference began yesterday with over 600 students taking part online across the world and will conclude Friday after a sit down with Vice President Harris. Um, Notably, we have the following tweet that kind of explains the situation. Kamala Harris will go one-on-one with Bill Clinton on Friday to talk about the impact of COVID-19 on women and empowering women and girls in the United States and across the world as part of the Clinton Global Initiative event. One Twitter user really got the comment right. I guess Jeffrey Epstein's no longer available. Um, Obviously, Bill Clinton isn't exactly the... um, greatest uh, uh, voice when it comes to women empowerment. Obviously, we know the uh, Monica Le- uh, Lewinsky, uh, Le- uh, sorry, the Monica Lewinsky um, sexual misconduct that happened to one he was in the presidential office. Um, and needless to say, maybe Kamala Harris can show him the proper way to treat a lady. Um, notably, earlier today, coming from Axios, Biden puts Harris in charge of the border crisis. And The reason why they say this matters is Harris will lead efforts with Mexico and the Northern Triangle, which includes Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, to manage the flow of unaccompanied children and migrant families arriving at the border in numbers not seen since a surge in 2019. Starting Tuesday, the Northern Triangle nations and Mexico will know there was one senior official dedicated to this effort. To be very clear, this is an important task the senior administration off official told reporters during a conference call. It was held just hours before a White House event with Biden, Harris, Homeland Sec- Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, and Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra. Um, notably, this is important also, um, as Axios reported earlier this week, uh, week, looking at the horrible conditions happening at the border. They got um, pictures of the border crisis, including just the, you know, dozens of individuals that are just, you know, crowded in these little plastic pods. Obviously, they're not social distancing. Um, I'm, we're not sure how much uh, COVID testing is being done. Um, on site Um, and you know it's needless to say that this is a genuine human rights crisis that's happening at our border it's also notable that Harris is the one chosen as New York Post reported earlier this week that Vice President Harris laughs when asked if she has plans to visit the southern border Vice President Kamala Harris laughed when asked Monday if she planned to visit the U.S.-Mexico border where a humanitarian and and security crisis is unfolding and tens of thousands of Central American migrants have crossed in recent weeks. Not today, said Harris, who formerly represented border-adjacent California as a center before letting out a belly laugh, but I have before and I'm I'm sure I will again. Harris offered the response shown on video posted to social media during a Monday visit to Jacksonville... Uh, to promote the passage of a 1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package after previously saying um, she had no plans to tour the crossing or sorry he had no plans to tour the crossing president biden too committed to making the trip at some point when asked sunday it's very notable that the individual who laughed at it being a crisis um, is the one chosen to leave the effort. Um, New York Post also reports that Vice President Harris appears to blame the Trump administration for the border crisis. Um, Vice President Kamala Harris appeared to place blame on the Trump administration over the crisis at the southern border after laughing off a question whether she intended to visit the region. Speaking to two reporters before boarding Air Force Two en route from Jacksonville to Washington, D.C. on Monday afternoon, Harris made remarks after being asked what the administration could do in the short term to ensure that migrant children were treated human- humanely. I mean, first of all, we were left with a very challenging situation, the vice president began. I think we all agree, and Secretary Mayorkas 
said it's a number of times this weekend let's get these kids out of cbp custody get them into hss custody she continued referencing reports that children are being held longer than the legal li limit in customs and border protection custody so this makes us question, what are the experts saying? Are the experts saying that the issue rose with Trump, or are the experts saying that it was a issue with the Biden admission? Well, coming from the ex-DHS chief, um, says Biden was warned about dismantling the Trump's border policies. This is reported by NPR. Um, in the uh, article, former acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf says Trump officials warned the incoming Biden administration that dismantling the Trump administration's immigration policies would call pro cause problems at the southern border. The Biden administration has largely blamed the challenges at the border on the previous administration, saying it gutted the Department of Homeland Security and used inhumane practices to try and to deter uh, migrants. Biden officials describes the steps they've taken to accept the new influx of unaccompanied minors into the country and end controversial programs that require migrants to remain in Mexico as a moral imperative. But some former Trump administration leaders, such as Wolf, say the Biden administration is dismantling systems at work. There's no consequence anymore, Wolf told NPR. The administration is treating this as though it's a capacity issue and not an illegal behavior issue. And that's a fundamental difference. Wolf was acting secretary from November 2019 until he resigned in January, weeks before the inauguration, following a court ruling that challenged the legality of his appointment. So... The, regardless of if you agreed with Trump policies or not, there is a standard here that the Trump officials warn that the policies Biden would be enacting would cause a crisis at the Mexico border, and that is indeed what we see. Obviously, we, both parties could probably have done things differently to, you know, treat individuals more humanely, but there was a warning, and the Biden administration ignored it. Now, what did the Biden administration also ignore? Well, it looks like it might have been the law. Coming from the post-millennial revealed Biden under investigation for freezing billions of dollars to complete the border wall. On his first day of office, President Joe Biden signed an executive order which froze billions of dollars from being spent on the border wall between the U.S. and Mexico. Now, the Government Accountability Office, known as GAO, is launching a review to determine if Biden broke the law by freezing the money that was set to go to the companies tasked with completing former President Donald Trump's southern border wall. According to Politico, the president could get be in violation of budget rules which were designed to keep Congress in control of government cash flow. Politico reported the probe highlights the challenge presidents have historically faced in fulfilling campaign promises that require money to be spent or suspended at odds with Congress intent. The revelation, revelation comes as Biden policies have triggered a border crisis which have overwhelmed the United States-Mexico border. 40 Senate Republicans wrote a letter to the GAO that Biden's order caused operation control operational control of our southern border to be compromised and a humanitarian and national security crisis has ensued. So, what we see here, obviously, this isn't necessarily at the courts yet, but there is potential that the actions done by the Biden administration were going above what the presidential uh, powers are with the executive orders. Obviously, Congress has the ability to define how funds are used. Um, however, we do need to remember that Trump initially did the wall funding using him. Um, emergency powers so there is a little bit of skepticism there if that's what held obviously this uh congress had the ability to actually challenge that um and as far as i understand they did not while uh trump was the president and this is your march 25th not so news update once again please like and subscribe if you're looking for daily news content and have a good one